All right, you guys, sorry for taking so long to make another video. I was in New Orleans, but we are at the uh, Lewis Landing Park right here in Broward. Broward, Florida, you guys. Remember, it's called Lewis Landing Park. This park is part of the Tequesta Indians. That's drive through here in Florida. Here's a statue. Took me a little minute to get here. But this is the statue right here. This statue is made out of bronze. Pure bronze. It used to be a little more brighter than this. The tribe built many villages near the Miami River. I'm gonna walk to the Miami River. You can see that as well over here on this side. That's the Miami River. But they turned this into a park, so. They was known for being hunters and gatherers on the Florida coast. They lived in the areas as we know today throughout the Florida coast. Palm Beach, Florida, Broward County, in the Miami Dade. I'm sorry about that, in the Miami Dade area. They were known for being a small, peaceful tribe in Florida. That's what we know them for. Do you guys know the Dolphin Stadium is built? right on top of the Tequesta Indian barrels. That's where they bury their dead at. Until the dolphin owners dug up the bodies back in 1985, I believe. 1985, I believe they dug them up. But yeah, this is the park. I'm gonna walk to the Miami River as well. I'm gonna walk over there, let you guys see that. Let me get a little closer to the monument. Get a little closer right there. If you look a little closer, he have tattoos. There's tattoos on his body. I also made a post about us doing tattoos in the Americas as well. Remember, just to catch the Indians. Also, the spot had been a burial ground for the Tequesta Indians around 18, no, not 18, but 880, I believe. And for the Seminole tribe, the Seminole tribe was buried underneath the Seminole, um, not the Seminole, but the Dolphin Stadium. They was buried beneath the Dolphin Stadium as well during the Seminole Wars. That took place throughout the Florida coast. So yeah, this is a monument for the Tequesta Indians. Sorry about the stuttering and stuff. But yeah, I'm gonna get a little closer. Right there, can you guys see the tattoos? They got tattoos. I don't know what the marking mean, but they was known for having tattoos. You got the feathers on top. Yeah, all this made out of bronze. I think they doing pottery right here. I guess there was a project by the investors who helped build the park, paying homage to the Tequesta Indians. I think it's some more drawings. Yeah, we have more drawings over here. Yep. I'm gonna leave the information so you guys can come out here for yourself and witness this with your own eyes. It's right in Fort Lauderdale. Landing Park, that's what it's called, Landing Park. I'm gonna go and walk right back in front of the sign. 
Let it got a park. I'm gonna go to the Miami River. This monument right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but the Lewis family. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys another view of the park name as well. Lewis Landing Park. So you can come out and eat as well. You can do that as well. So let's walk to the Miami River. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Mm -hmm. All right, just the Miami River. No fishing allowed. No fishing allowed, you guys. Take a walk around the park. Park is a little small. I was expecting to see a little bit more land, but that's okay. I guess they did a lot of building. So I'm gonna go back to the statue. I'm gonna go back to the statue. I will be back in Louisiana in a few more months to record the Indian Mounds. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little closer to the statue. So you guys can get a better view of the tattoos. Right, it's made out of bronze, pure bronze. That's them on the canoes that, that they cast the Indians. I guess they in the Miami River right now. I guess that what that is. Here's the monument. Once again. Here's the statue. Now the statue, if you come to the front area, you can see the tattoos growing below the ankles all the way up to the upper body. This statue represents a warrior, a hunter. All right, you guys, that's it. Mm -hmm.